Hey y'all, this is Renee. Welcome back to my garden. I garden in zone 9V Florida Panhandle along the Emerald Coast. And it is a wonderfully sunny, albeit a little bit cooler day. I think we're gonna be like 50s or so right now. Um, still got my short sleeve shirt on. Uh, and we're gonna be doing finally a chore that I've been uh, really wanting to do and getting those bamboo in the bigger pots. So let's go ahead and if I need to mix more soil, I will do that today. But we're gonna get those bamboos out of those terracotta pots where they are root bound and get them into those bigger black pots. is from the failed peony experiment. There's a bunch of roots in here, but I don't think any of it was peony. One down, three more to go.
So, when I planted those peonies like two or three years ago, actually it was pandemic year, so it's probably been three years. Um, this is what I did. I got these big tubs, 15 gallon. You can get them at garden supply stores online. I think I got um, seven of them for around 60 bucks, which I thought was a great deal, especially during the pandemic when prices for things were going through the roof. Um, at the bottom of one of those pots, uh, and actually I put it at the bottom of all the pots, I put sand. I wanted good drainage with those peonies because I understood that wa water and rot could be the death of them. And I knew I was putting them in plastic pots. So half of it was filled with sand that I actually dug up from my own ground because my house is built on a hill and uh, they use sand to build it up. But not just that, but most of Florida is on sand. <laughs> I mean, literally, I can dig at the back of my property and about six inches down, I hit water. Now, I will tell you that my well is a 90 foot well. And that was a weird little story. So here's the little story that behind that. So we <clears throat> got our well put in and we only said this, we wanna hit clear water. That's it, we just wanna hit some clear water. We don't want it to be all muddy because we don't want that going through our irrigation system. So it was a very rainy week that week. And apparently the groundwater that was at the surface was churning because of all the extra water in the area. So they kept digging, they kept digging. <laughs> Two or three days later, they brought in this um, huge screw drill that took up half my lot. And um, they kept digging. And then they hit 90 feet and they said, listen, the price is gonna go way up from here. But if we do like an extra 30 feet, you'll have drinking water out of it. And I was like, y you know, I'm not prepared to pay you know, the extra amount. And I'm gonna just trust that the muddy water that y'all are hitting is just because of all the extra rain. And I have to say, there's silver linings and everything. So even though we paid a lot more for a 90 foot well, there was a year or two in there since we had it put in that Florida in my Panhandle area, the greater Pensacola area, um, we had drought and uh, well, it gets so hot here, just about everybody has a well. And you should have seen all the brown, beautiful grass, because I don't love grass. <laughs> Obviously, since I don't put poison down, so all my armadillos and possums can go to town digging up grubs. Yes, I may have even found a mole that uh, we allowed to <clears throat> naturally decompose and I have the skeleton inside my house um, but it was terrible I mean everybody's lawns were brown except for maybe three yards in my entire neighborhood and we were one of them so I'm glad I got the deeper well for sure it takes a long time to get that irrigation working again in the spring I mean, it takes me like, a, it should, according to videos online, take me like less than five minutes. My mom has a shallow well and hers takes her like five minutes. My well takes more like 20 minutes to get going. Whew. I may or may not film that just because it's painful to watch um, when it comes time. But I'm expecting a few more cold snaps probably coming up in this next month, I hope. I mean, plants do need a little bit of cold, right? Um, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that, long story short, I put sand at the bottom of those pots. And I put my usual mix, light, very light, on the uh, peat moss. Um, mostly just compost, to be honest with you. It was probably 90% compost and some pine bark mulch in there. Um, and the first year, I got like five peonies to get leaves. The second year, one had a bloom. And then after that, everything went down. I think it's just too hot and humid here. So, uh, you know, this was, I was buying peonies that were supposed to go to zone nine. I was nine A at the time, but it just didn't work out. 
I even was putting ice on those suckers a couple of times during the winter. Like every week, every two weeks, I was dumping ice on them. <clears throat> and it just didn't work out. So long story short, when you go to the big box stores, my Emerald Coast growers and gardeners, do not buy peonies in the bag. <laughs> Unless you're planning on doing something special with those that I have no idea what you're doing. And if you do know, please leave a comment down below because I need to know what you're doing because it ain't working for me along the coastline here in Santa Rosa County. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some soil so that when I'm ready to do the next project, I can just get to it. I don't have to wait. All right, I may have forgotten to water my bamboo on camera. So we are definitely gonna take care of that in just a few minutes. Um, so for those of you who don't watch me, I use a compost and manure, one bag. I do about a third of a bag of pine bark mulch. That helps to break down and really does a nice job conditioning the soil. And it, if you don't have those little styrofoam beads, um, you know, uh, the pine bark mulch works pretty good if you can get it. I understand maybe some of you out on the west coast of the U.S. have a hard time. But I would imagine any shredded bark material would be great. As long as it doesn't have like dyes and things in it. Who wants to be putting that in the environment? I don't like that. Hardwood might work, although it won't decompose quite as well. Uh, there's a reason why most of the southeast is uh, acid soil and I think it has to do with all the pine trees that we have here that sheds their needles. I know I've said this before but you know we have a, a very limited range on evergreens here. Long needle pines, the sand pine which is very localized to our area. It's a short needle pine, but it is a beautiful tree. It doesn't get super big. Um, but then again, along the coastline here, nothing gets super big, just to be honest with you. Um, it's pretty amazing my bald cypress is as tall as it is. And who doesn't love a good upshot? We are done mixing soil. So we are now going to show you that cypress tree. Look at that butte. The structure on this is so phenomenal. Definitely wish I had gotten multiples of these. I get so many comments on it too. My neighbors can see it from other yards and they just adore it. All right, let's go ahead and get that soil mixture into the shed and then I'll water those bamboos in and uh, then we'll call it a wrap. my terracotta pots here and I put them out in the sunlight and the sun here is really strong and it'll probably zap anything if there was anything growing in there that shouldn't have been uh, it'll just take care of it over a couple of days to a week stack them up use them for whatever I need to next all right y'all that's it Whew. I got a lot more gardening to do not today though the knee is telling me to stop so I'll see you in the next video and bye y'all until then today's pre-ordered david austin rose i'm going to feature is golden celebration so this is a shrub rose it gets around four and a half by four and a half feet it is a repeat bloomer it has a tea scent with hints of wine and strawberry mm. and it has a flower that has petals ranging around 75 petals per bloom I am so looking forward to adding this.